Hey guys, my name is Manjunath and welcome to Docker Basics series. In this series, we are going to learn how we can get started with Docker and learn about containers, images and how to deploy our application using Docker. Especially when you are learning Docker, it's important to deploy whatever the application you are developing using Docker so that you will be familiar with how to use it for your language. That's why let's get started. First, you have to go to docker.com so that you can get uh, Docker's required tool for installation. Once you get into this particular page, you can download it for whichever the operating system you are using. I'm on Windows, so I have, have to download this particular Windows uh, .exe. But if you are on some other operating system, you can download it for that. Once you have downloaded it, go to get started. And in this particular page, you can find instruction for Mac and Windows and Linux. If you go to Windows section, you will see what and all minimum requirement it requires for in your system in order to make sure Docker runs properly. If you are having like latest laptop with latest updates available in uh, Windows updates, then I don't think you will face any problem to follow this tutorial. But if you are on older system, you might need to upgrade it, uh, maybe hardware, maybe even software update. Once you have make sure like the version you are having is correct in this particular uh, page, uh, you have to install something called as WSL2. Installing WSL2 is very easy if you are on Windows 11 or even Windows 10. You have to go to something called as PowerShell. If you search PowerShell, you will get it. Yeah, PowerShell is nothing but it's uh, one terminal. So once you search for it, you can run it as administrator and it will ask for uh, permission. Once it's done, you can just type WSL dash dash install. Once you run this particular command, it will install all the required uh, tools uh, for the Docker and it will ask you to create user name and some password. You have to just type it after it gets will restart it by itself. Once all setup of this thing is done, go ahead with the, the downloaded file from here and install it it's just next 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 it's very to very easy to install then once you have installed just make sure you search for git bash if you are on windows and download this particular terminal once you have downloaded this particular terminal we can run docker commands easily same as how we run in uh, linux or mac that's why if you are on linux or mac you don't need to worry about uh, installing this particular thing but use whatever the default shell which is available in your laptop or computer so once you have installed uh, and uh, once docker is uh, set up properly you will just have to open the docker by searching for it uh, docker desktop and once you open this particular thing uh, it will come in this particular system tray where you can download it uh, once you have downloaded it uh, it will run here once it's running on your system uh, you can uh, start to work on with the docker open up any terminal in your uh, system uh, powershell if you are on windows 11 uh, or git bash also is fine if you followed the instruction to download the git bash then once you are in this particular page uh, you just have to let me just close it uh, okay so in this particular page uh, we can see if docker is installed properly and it's running fine just type docker version it will show whether docker is installed properly or not if you are facing any error in this particular command that means your installation didn't go through and you have to fix some installation bug whichever it's facing so once you are able to see this particular command we can get started with docker so first command i want you to run is docker container run hello world once you have this ran this particular command, it will start doing some magic. But don't worry about it. I'll teach you each and everything in it. And it is saying now hello from Docker. 
if you are seeing this particular thing that means docker is completely installed in your system and we are able to follow this particular tutorial and uh, we'll learn docker in this series so that's it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you on the next video bye bye